Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time once again for some more Lost Eidolons. Now, I know I left it an extra day to see if people wanted to leave any comments on the last two videos. So it's been, you know, a couple of days between episodes in terms of release order. But actually, I recorded that last episode four days ago and I've been feeling withdrawal symptoms. Seriously, I want to get in back into this game and finish it off. Well, no, I don't want to finish it. I want to enjoy it some more. It seems Francisco wants to have a talk with me after that solo mission, and that's a good idea. And with my 20 remaining, sorry, my 15 remaining leadership points, I could give free of my extremely rare and expensive gifts to people, or I could carry out a camp activity, which would give me less than free gifts but it wouldn't use up any items. So it might be two gifts worth, so I could do that with Gilbert, Leon, Robert. Um, Robin, Leonard, Dahlia, Andrea. Or Francisco. Now, there's a lot of characters I could stand to gain rapport with. But I think, in all honesty, we know who it's got to be, right? There can only be one this time. So this camp, this stopping camp, was a good opportunity to raise rapport with almost anyone I wanted, as long as their name wasn't Marshall or... Um, what's the name? Begins with a K. Uh, Karin. Everyone else was available. And obviously I wasn't going to have enough points to do it for everyone. Um, I could... I could boost Leon, Robin, Francisco quite easily. Francisco's probably going to give me a morale a rapport boost after this quest anyway, because I, you know, he said he wanted to go do the thing. We went and did the thing together. He'll be happy we've done the thing together, even if that buckle is the wrong way around, potentially, although that doesn't look like a belt hole. That looks like a rivet holding that in place, so it could be going that way. It's very hard to tell. Right. We know I want to raise rapport with Robert and Marcel, and the two of them don't have a lot of opportunities to raise rapport. In terms of others... Oh wait, that's not coming from up there, it's coming... it could be... Oh no, 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 because that's down there, so yeah, it is coming from up there. It just looked for a moment like it might have been coming from up round here and through, but it isn't. Right. So yeah, I'm gonna... I had three opportunities. Prioritize the people I want to boost higher. Prioritize the ones who are very rare. Or prioritize the ones who are lowest so they can play catch up a bit. And this time I thought I'd go with one of the rarer yeah. ones. Let's talk over some war plans. Good. We have a lot to discuss. We can talk about Eden's Mercenary Company, which Robert has been practically one of the founding members of. I mean, him and Robin weren't there quite at the beginning, but they've been here a lot longer than anyone else. Or Lunetta, a, a subject he's familiar with and fond of. So let's go with that. Mm, let me think about it. Lunetta, I remember the day I decided to settle down there after we met you in Elysia. I was looking forward to it in a lot of ways, dreading it in some others. Sure. I bet you still accept it. I've been a carpenter's apprentice my whole life. Becoming a mercenary took some getting used to. But after meeting everyone in town and going on a hundred jobs with all of you, before I knew it, I was the old man in the group and my life in Elysia was just a distant memory. We really did start leaning on you a bit pretty quickly, huh? Didn't we? Mm, let me think about it. <laughs> no kidding. But I treasure that time. I'll never forget our lives in Lanetta. Not just for good memories, but all the rest, too. Like that time you broke your arm trying to catch a baby for my cunt. Right. Oh, don't remind me. Oh. Thanks, Cap. I can take it from here.
You know, in some ways it's interesting, because if we had a female counterpart to Robert in terms of personality, people might say she's very bland, a fairly shallow, not very well thought out character. Does he come across as overly feminine? Not necessarily. But still, he's a likeable character, you know, he cares for people, he does, his heart's in the right place. And now he's getting a fondness for organisation and structure as well, so that's great. Let's go see what Francisco wants and then we'll get out of this camp. Now, I did, in the last episode, give that horse blanket to Robin. And that gave us a nice boost of him. I could instead have given the history book to Levana, and I didn't, because I read in Clara's codex entry that she has an interest on history and military tactics and stuff, so I thought that might be a subject that could appeal to her as well. So I reckoned I'd wait and see if Clara turned up at the next camp, and if Salma the Rare Goods Merchant turned up in the next camp so that I could decide who to give the book to, because if Clara turned up and saw me another copy of that book, that'd be great, they could have one each. And if Clara didn't turn up, then I could give two to Lavana. Let's jog a little bit. Francisco's a little further away than I anticipated, and also I'm rather eager to get out of this camp and see what happens next with the story and the next battle. How's it going? Hey. Didn't even break a sweat. Our skills have improved a lot. Guess it's only natural. We risk our lives on a daily basis nowadays. But don't go letting your guard down. Got it? Yeah, yeah, you worry too much, brother. You know we're not kids anymore, right? I can handle myself. <laughs> no matter how old we get, you and Leon are always going to be like kid brothers to me. Ugh, so embarrassing. Forget about us, okay? Just worry about yourself. All right, all right. The next time something like this comes up, don't hesitate to tell me. You got it! Oh, look at that nice boost there. And a refined spear. Refined spear. We have two people who use spears. One has a good spear already. The other one has a fairly common standard spear, so let's just swap that out. Excellent. Refined will do what? Plus three critical when using combat skills. Okay, fine, we can we can go work with that. For now, let's get out of this camp and see what fortune sends our way. It's been a long time, but we're finally leaving. Scorched Earth, that can't be good. And that is a woman I don't recognise. Possibly our opponent. In fact, quite probably. In science felt. If you give me the chance, I will atone for my failure. Eris. Yes. Round up your troops and lead them to Hollisburg immediately. Better be her. But, High Commander Kaspar, I... Do not mistake me, Fontaine. It's not personal, nor is it a punishment. Sir? First, you've just returned from battle. You're not the only commander at my disposal. Eris is here, so I intend to make use of her. Second, this battle will be largely a defensive endeavor fought within the castle walls. Eris is more suited to such a task. Your talent lies more in head-on engagements. Am I not correct? Yes, sir. Correct, sir. Do you understand as well? I understand, but... High Commander... Hollisburg has been sacked and pillaged by the crows already. That's Levana's Resources outfit. are scarce, and the populace is more agitated than usual. It's not the best place to defend against a siege. Yes, that's precisely my thinking. Mm. Sir? It's a trap. 
He wants her to lose. He wants to study how we defeat her. See what knowledge he can gain from it. Or... Did you say Hollisberg? Yes, sir. We've confirmed sightings of the enemy troops heading in that direction. Who's leading them? General Eris is leading the Hollisberg contingent. The bulk of Kaspar's main forces are en route to Seinsfeld. I see. Good work. Sir! <laughs> Would you look at that? I guess we're not worth Kaspar's time. What do you think his motives are? If the main force is headed towards Seinsfeld, they must want to capture Lenoy. I'll wager this business at Hollisberg is some sort of diversion to keep us occupied. We should consider our response carefully. If we strike at Hollisberg, Kaspar will almost certainly ford the river. But if we pursue his main force, that group in Hollisberg will likely peel off and flank us from behind. It's a threat, rather than an actual Clever intention. Clever little bastard. Attack the city, lose Kaspar. Attack Kaspar, and the snare closes around us. Quite the riddle he's posed here. He's buying himself time. But you want to attack the main force anyway, don't you? I imagine that's what Kaspar would prefer as well. For that reason, if no other, I suggest we choose Hollisberg. It's a race against time. We don't have their numbers, but that makes us faster than them. Let's use that to our advantage. If we can take Hollisberg before Kaspar's army crosses the river, we can use that to attack the main force head on. I believe we should follow Elias' advice and occupy Hollisberg first. That's we will commence attack the same. upon arrival. <laughs> Everyone, prepare to march. Ooh, will we be tired from a forced march? Have like a debuff for the first few rounds of combat? You two, stay a moment. Uh oh. What's this? Eden, was there something you wish to tell me? Oh. Is it Francisco? You, you're an Imperial, aren't you? Answer me. I... Ah. That's all in the past. It was Marshall who started the revolt in Lanetta. She's turned her back on the Empire. Are you through? There's a sizable bounty on my uncle's head. In my position, would you take it on faith that a former Inquisitor is utterly beyond temptation? You are hereby discharged from active duty. Return to Castilian. Marshall would never betray us. Please, trust me on this. As I understand it, her talents are well regarded within the Empire. Why leave such a comfortable position to come here? Please, just give her a chance. And if I'm wrong, if she betrays our trust, I'll take full responsibility. I swear to whatever gods there are. I'll stake my life on it. My people will be watching you. I hope for this man's sake that they have nothing to report. A word of advice, Eden? Never trust an Imperial. So he's only just found out she was from the Empire? I sense trouble brewing among the rebels now. I apologize. If he'd seen what you did in Lanetta, he would never have said those things. Don't let it trouble you. Valistar will learn to trust you in time. And will if he? it turns out I was an Imperial spy all along? Hell, I don't know. We both die, I guess? I cannot die. Not yet. Uh-oh. Is there something you're not telling me? Some larger plan. All right, then. Suit yourself. When you're ready to talk, I'm ready to listen. 
For now, let's get ready to... I had a brother. Adrian. He'd be around your age by now. He worked in archival at the Capitol, record this keeping and This should such. be a cutscene. He was good at it, too. The sort who's always picking up other people's slack. And then one day he died. A stupid accident, they said. Just got careless. How was I supposed to believe that? Of course, when I asked for the body, they wouldn't turn it over. It's ridiculous, really. A record keeper dropping dead on the job? They couldn't even come up with a proper lie. Why bother? Our family wasn't important enough to cause problems. After that, Lenard and I did everything we could to uncover the truth. I spent months looking for answers. Paid enough bribes to drain our estate and then some. Later, I learned that on the day he died, Adrian had been looking into an Imperial research site. What kind of research are we talking about? The kind overseen by the Empire's highest official, Prime Minister Morin. Why do I get the sneaking suspicion this has something to do with the Emperor? Because it does. The Emperor. He wishes to live forever. Oh, like that famous They've Chinese been conducting Emperor. human experiments in an attempt to unlock the secrets of eternal life. That's insane. That insanity is what got Adrian killed. And it was Morin himself that gave the order. The day I learned that is the day I applied to become an Inquisitor. I wanted to get revenge on Morin, using his own system against him. <laughs> it sounds so stupid when I say it out loud. I should have known it was doomed from the start. What makes you say that? Serving justice in an unjust system is an uphill battle. And against a man as powerful as Morin, it's like rolling a boulder up a mountain. A you know, Sisyphean effort, you could say. I was assigned to Lynetta and got myself tangled up in a rebellion. The moment Lord Rodrigo died, I found myself instantly recast in the role of a revolutionary. The reason I couldn't respond to Ballastar's questions earlier... ...because I'm not sure of the answers myself. Should I have kept my position? Fought to avenge Adrian from within? Or do I stay the course, and pray it leads me to Morin? You don't think we can win this war, do you? It's not that. I've enjoyed the company of you and your friends. You all feel like family to me now. But when I remember what it is we're up against... I said I'd stake my life on yours, and I meant it. I'll stand by your side to the end of this road, no matter where it leads us. If I ever get the chance to take Morin's life, I will not waver. That then could I guess be a we're problem. Stuck together. So be it. Now on your way, you. And be well. The two of them are speaking as if they have a much higher rapport level, which has been constantly denied me due to the lack of opportunity to build it. So I wonder, she didn't get a rapport boost out of that either, which is interesting. I suppose we'll be attacking another town soon. Here we are, the Battle of Hollisburg. You can now assign an aide to any unit in your squad that's level 10 or higher. Aides can only be assigned to units of a higher level than them. That might be why I was unable to assign certain aides previously. And also why keeping the highest level characters out of the fight and then assigning them as aides. Uh, then they could only be assigned to my high so I see now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aides don't enter the battlefield directly, but their skills and passive abilities bolster the unit they're assigned to. So maybe someone using the same weapon skills or magic skills would be helpful as well. Whenever a unit gains experience, their aid does too. Aids earn 100% character experience and 50% mastery and class experience. They also get a bonus from the experience reward at the end of the battle. And now I have enough people to actually assign aids. I also appear to have allies. I believe that's Ballastar with me. And some of his men. Let's take a look around the map. Well, who we got first? Robert, Leon, Gabriel. Probably swap out... For, for, um, Leonard, Francisco, Robin, Eden, 
Ballastar, Gilbert, Carrot, Eden's on his own, and Dahlia. So, I want this, which means coming up some stairs from here. I don't need anything over here, so I'm looking to lean this way initially. Right. They have plentiful archers on the walls, but no wizards on the walls. Again, this is mostly warriors. And so far this is mirroring deployment. Ah, chest here. And no chest here. So, I want this corner and this middle. What's back here to threaten us and stop us storming right up the middle? There should be, like, artillery or something. Lady Eris, a priest, two wizards, two dark wizards, okay. Um, three. And they could all have sleep spells, right? Uh, Abyssal Whisper, Shroud Focus, so not there. Putrefy. Yeah, so these are all bad, nasty spells to make us have a hard time. No somnolence so far, though. So that's all good. Actually, they're very weak on this side at all. So, we come in here, hit this. No, we probably do want to be hitting this first for pulling reasons. Um... There's got to be more enemies than this, right? There's got to be some kind of ambush set up or something. It feels off. Let's look at our formation. So, Leonard. Unassigned aid. Sure. And now we can put him on the battlefield here. Uh, Andrea. You don't need to be an aide to Dahlia. And let's position you here. Uh, right. Next up. Uh, assign... No, no, no. Uh, ambition. At her... At high health, guess what? Francisco, you're going to be helped by a wizard. Um, who's she going to help? 15 or lower. So, Marshall, Andrea, Robin, Eden, Karen... Gilbert, um, Robert. Okay, let, let's see what she gives first. Um, oh, wait, what? You're already, right. I can assign people on the battlefield as aides? That doesn't make sense. I think they have to be off. Um, no allies adjacent, so someone is going to be soloing a lot. Or shooting. Um, when attacked or countered, so just good critical defense. Right, so. Robin, Marshall, so. Karen, possibly. And she's got the lower health, so sure. And then let's do some repositioning. Um, Gilbert, you're in a bad place. Oh wait, no, 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 because long shots. Hmm. Okay, let's let's go back a moment because we can use long shots on some of these archers on the wall here. The two by the gates will obviously be our prime target. So three people, Robin doesn't need to be there. Francisco probably does need to be here, so. Let's 
plonk you there. Um, let's put her here. Is that wise? No, it's not. Let's put her back over there. Because we want... Wait, do we? No, no, it is here. So that, that was actually better, yes. Okay. Can I just click on here? No, I can't. I... No, I can't. I literally can't. Okay. <laughs> Good to know, but... Right. There. Um... What else? We don't want you in front. You're better positioned in front, so yes. And let's put him a little bit nearer. Right. Let's manage a little bit. Um, I am going to be forgetting to do this if I don't do it. Right, Dark Arrow, Lich Arrow, they're good. Somnolence, um, again, Range and Silence. There are a lot of wizards at the back, so I think that'll come in useful later on. Stick with that? Yeah, sure. Um, what am I... Question is... Healing Touch, six... Binding heal. Okay. Um, healing light. Four uses per battle. Five charge. Uh, five power. Instead of six power. So a couple less healing. I want to give this a try. It's got very good range on it. Holy Nova, also useful. Purification. Do I swap the Blessing? There are a lot of Dark Mages at the back with nasty afflictions they can put on us. So, Purification is good. I'd want to swap the Blessing, but I think for this battle I should absolutely keep it. And for Leonard... Um, Thunderbolt Storm... Cold... Let's do something sensible. Um, none of these are creating surfaces. That might be a weakness of the Dark Mage, a lack of surface creation. That could be a strength of the elemental. Hey, hey, hey. All dark, so it's going to be all debuffs, apart from the priest who's going to be doing some healing. Um, so, then, for Leonard, I can manage his spells, right? And say, if the only person creating surfaces is going to be me, I don't need to think so much about water. So... Um, two, five, five, looking for more fives. So do I want some water creating spells? Um, I mean, Pillar of Fire is just reasonably good. Um, Huh. Do elemental damages generally have... Because, okay, so it would seem that the light spells get a very high power, but then they're used more for healing and stuff and less offensively. So the cold wave, right, isn't going to really matter so much because there's a lack of water. Unless I create... Unless I swap for a... 
water creating spell, there's no point having this, and the same could be argued for these as well. The water creating spells will target single tiles. So, Glacial Gale. The ice wall might be worth it here. For some reason, I'm thinking. Uh, glacial Gale inflicting ice damage on a single enemy. Um, Two, five, three, three. It's got shorter range as well. I kind of want to give this a try. Uh, wait. Does everyone have consumables? I would say yes. All right, let's begin and hope we don't regret this too much. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's put Leon here because he doesn't have a shield Francisco does. So he's more likely to be ramming the doors because that way he's not using a wait action. He's using a ram the doors action. All right, let's do it. 25 turn limit. Okay. Obviously, this is a more complicated battle. And I should absolutely do a paranoia check soon. Ah, the mighty Ballastar. It's not too late to surrender, you know. Or you could defect. For a man like you, I'm sure they'd find a way to overlook your unfortunate rebel background. In fact, I imagine you'd be a hero, drowning in wealth and fame. Is this some form of stall tactic? Or are you just naturally irritating? Bit of both, I don't probably. have time for this. Sweep them aside. Oh. Well, that simplifies things, doesn't it? Ballastar isn't even fighting with us. He was just occupying that square, so we couldn't. All right. Andrea oh, yeah. doesn't actually have the long shot, does she? Mind the bow. Um, if I swap combat skills, no, she doesn't either. Okay, swap back. Right. So lacking the long shot. Let's roll. Um, where are we going again? We can still take that archer if we want to. This one will be a bit harder. As you command. He says. Range free. Right. Who else would finish that off? You know, well, let's let's go gate. Should have been more right. careful. It's a shame spilling blood on such a nice day. And then, okay, so if I do come up here and round here, um, I'm thinking these two arches here may be a problem if we, but we can get up from in there. Okay. So now, sure thing. he doesn't have a lot of range free spells, does he? Could always knock him out of a sleep spell. Let's hold off on that. Understood. That should now be out of retaliation range. So why am I? Um. 
He's got the long shot, but I don't think he can counter with long shot, can he? Hmm. If your blood runs hot, keep your head. Cool. I mean, if I do run up here. Yeah, that's just really bad. Okay, that's good to know as well then. Simple enough. Only two sleeping. Oh, that's all risky, right? Okay. Can do. How many? Three. One, two, from him. Okay, so we definitely want to be maybe grouping in here. Let's just... Yeah, okay. One, two, three. We're going to have to step in if we want to strike anyone. So yeah, grouping towards the center is good. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. The fight, the sweeter the victory. So we'd have to dash someone in here. Coming right up. Who'd then be taking a lot of shots. Two shots with no shield. Go here and defend. I don't think it's going to matter. Go ahead. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. See so yeah, how that could be a problem. Whether words or swords. I miss nothing. Uh, it'd have to be here, wouldn't it? I couldn't do it from there. Right. Um, was that a massive mistake then? I'll see it through. Not necessarily. I'm liking this idea. Out of sight, but not out of mind. So if we go for lightning. And will he counter? He will. So it seems long shot allows long range counters or something else they've got as a passive that I haven't worked out. So why was he allowed to counter at such a long range? Is it something to do with being on the wall? Yes, it is. Okay, wonderful. Not everyone can be forgiven. Now. We've got an attack coming his way from him. Once he gets closer, he may consider her. I can handle that. If we sit here. That's not pulling an attack off him, it's just pulling an extra attack from over there. Because he currently threatens nobody. No so we drop. probably just want to get near the gate. You know. You say so. That squire swapped places abilities, actually. There is no mountain too high to climb. Would be really useful. No sweat. Oh yeah, actually. Okay, so that seems to literally just be leaving the skills seems to have abandoned the class, unless I just didn't equip it. Okay, I'll think on that. As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. If I try for this kill... Yeah, it just doesn't seem good. That's just one... Right. He can... He can threaten Robin as well, but he's not targeting him yet. I don't know why. You got it, kid. So we might just be better off central. 
Think deeply. Act quickly. Right. If I go here. There's no pulling one. Why is he? That's very strange. Know what fools and drunks have in common? They never so, learn. We absolutely can slap that sleep spell in there. And it may be worth it if we want to rush through the gate very quickly. We probably shouldn't rush. We should probably just Please see if Robin gets hit Bye. twice, to be honest. Mind the bow. So currently, we're taking a couple of hits, but that should be it this turn. Ow. Uh -huh. We do have potions, this is a big battle. Right. Of these two people, the one to go through the gate first should be someone with a shield. Let's get it done. Let's do that. By opening the way. We're through the gates, but we've got a long way to go. Cap, they've got archers up there. Yes, they have. And you're even showing me the chest. Deal with them quick. We'll be sitting ducks. What else is new? Let's take them out. So. Acknowledged. Obviously, we could do some big damage there. That's not necessarily what we want to do. Right. There is no mountain too high to climb. Hello. We got a bow. We do want to come through and establish ourselves in a hello. Wet. They don't have lightning archers, we do. This under Eden is not wet yet. So they could come fight us in the doorway here. That's not ideal. Right, so. Let's look at this archer all the way out here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He'll have to come this way if he wants to get us. So, if we shoot that one out, another one, they'll just come funneling along. Oh, there's an idea. So we got two swordsmen here with heavy armor who are going to come rushing up. Are they knights? They are knights, so they're going to be tough. So, we want to be in front here, two or three people wide. Um, so our question is, how far back that far in? When your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment. So let's do that. His position as our lone bulwark, us, the spearhead of our assault, is temporary, he will be reinforced soon. So we can bring someone up here, shoot him down. Oh, he's got a lot of health, okay. Coming right up. So, here or here? Depends how far forwards we want to go, really, doesn't it? Same with Eden, we can come rushing out. We'd like to kill this archer this turn. And we'd like to do it with someone. People who run their mouths die first. Who does need a bit more archery skill. Now. Right. She can reach this one. Whereas Andrea can reach both. <laughs> uh. 
little experience for Dahlia there. That's all good. And that now changes things significantly, but we'll be plonking someone in front of her to protect her soon. We have diverted quite a number of attacks away from Robert. So, as long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can we go rot. here. We are splitting the damage. between Andrea and Leonard, which will matter. Especially if she only gets hit for free damage. <laughs> that really mattered. Okay, great. Now... Lady Marshall. Lady Marshall will hopefully be pleased with your... Oh. It's literally the same spell. Okay. No, he won't be taking damage back because the other man will be dead. Leonard level, gained health, magic, agility, and strength. And I am aware now how to view these, so that will be good as well. Now, this man, we were expecting... He should have moved to here when the other one moved up to there, and he didn't. So that's possibly an AI thing we can exploit. So this one will move to, like, here. This one will not then move to here, even though he probably should. So this chest is extra damage to take, this one likewise. Okay, so let's just say, for argument's sake, we put him right here. That's not good. Because we want attacks going Robert's way. That's also not good. That's a bit better. So. Luck is on my side. Francisco the Bold has arrived! Is this bad? Um, overall, we've redirected most of our attacks to the front line. Uh, Robert's going to need a lot of healing. And a little bit to these two with bows. If the archers don't long shot them and stand directly where they can be shot, we'll also get to counter. If they don't, that's going to be a massive problem. Right. Now. All right. Okay, that's a problem as well, then. Except it's not. Ooh. Problem is, if he comes along here and redirects and shoots... Right. We could come out here... ...and long shot. Way too risky. Right. But if we come through here, who are we shooting? Probably no one. Right. I'm thinking in terms of who she should be healing. Understood. The answer is probably Leonard. Now what fools so if we run you up common, here, you're definitely getting learn. shot. And Robin isn't. Oh, that's interesting. So one for each of these. So at least one of those has got to be a long shot, right? Which means the other one won't be. So you can sit here, you Solid plan. can hop to there, not be targeted by anyone, and do a bit of healing. So that's our problem with healing light. Right. Means we're going to use many more potions. And then we can just pop here you goes. here. Wait, does that... and ready to come riding out and shoot people on the walls. So. Oh, it doesn't have to be a long shot. They get plus one for being on the wall. Got it. Which denies her the counter as well. Good call, cool. but that was a long shot. 
And you, mate, are on your own on that wing. And there's the long shot we were anticipating. That's great. So what we want to do now is hold inside the gate and spread out and take the arches on the walls. Provided Robert can hold long enough after all these attacks. Okay, that may be a serious problem. But I don't think they'll all be able to reach him. By which I mean I'm hoping they won't all be able to reach him. <laughs> and he will hopefully be reinforced very soon. Yeah, because they can't diagonally reinforce him. Unless they're swapping to bows or something. Yeah, you go attack Francisco. Lady Marshall, you'll be healing Robert this turn. Gabriel is an aide, that's why he leveled up. For a moment I was like, why is Gabriel in this battle and not Leonard? He's gained health, magic, resistance and luck. Excellent. So, quick paranoia check before I go any further. All looks good so far. Great. What do I want to do? Well, obviously, Coming right up. I want to be shooting these people. Fine. And this one I can't shoot because he's too far away. I'd have to run out here, which I can do. And that's not an entirely bad idea. I will bring justice to this land. Uh, in terms of healing, not enough to put him on full, but is it enough for him to attack first? And then be healed. Sure thing, Cap. That axe is going to do a lot against this plate. Four. Okay. Wait. Eighteen. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. They're both doing roughly the same damage. Okay. If we kill this one, this one will step in to take his place. If we kill this one, so yeah, we could be facing. We'll be facing two. Whatever happens next turn, there. So we're in no hurry to kill these two if we can just disable them a bit. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. Right, we've got taunted, wet, and wet. I think a blessing may be really Light good. Burns the brightest in the dark. But not not yet. Right. We got Robin as well. And okay, hold it. The harder the fight, the sweeter the victory. Go ahead, open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. So I said we want to be holding our position there and tackling archers out here. Question is. Can As he you command. do 15? And the answer is yes. Okay, great. If you say so. So Andrea shoots this man and gets shot back a little bit. <laughs> and I'll take the arrow against lever instead of the arrow against cloth for the counter. Whether words or swords, I miss nothing. Can I take him with a thunderbolt? Okay, let's try that. Try that question again. Can I take him with a thunderbolt? Yes. And arguably, that's a better thing than doing it with a bigger spell. And the distance means he'll be a longer way away from the battlefield. Uh, so he'll have more time to catch up and get healed and drink a potion. Right. Loud and clear. So now we do have a very valid reason to try and kill that map. Being that we can get Leon through with a two-handed axe and hit someone. And create an additional target. Uh, one, two, one, two. Can we get Leon out here if we kill someone instead, though? Don't fight smarter. Fight harder. Can do. So that is not 11. 
it's seven. Coming right up. So it's not a kill. It's really close to being a kill though, damn it. Okay. Mind the bow. She's not gonna have any forests to hide in at the moment. So And out of the two of them, Robin is currently the healthier. You can do this. You can do this. We go long. <coughs> and he will be able to counter because he's on the wall. <coughs> but he will also now be dead. Now. Simple enough. Magic, lit arrow. Oh, take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> so, I'll see it through. Pray sighted. Take that shot and the kill. And we're clearing the ramparts quite nicely. While we're not hoping to advance too much and we get some skill for the assassin there. Kyren herself with level, got the whole left hand column, that's lovely. So plan is still to heal Robert. A solid plan. If we come to here, yes, I agree, Marshall, and you're still not getting attacked, so that's lovely. Oh wait, wait, wait. Or do we just No we don't we don't go for the bless. It's not worth it. Then, rather than have Leon, no matter how careful here, you are, no sweat. We'll have Robert here and defend. You oh, you thought you were going to get through there, did you? tough. And now we split their attacks up quite nicely. Down you go. Almost for Ballastar treatment. Very pleasant. Then we'll just have a little bit of frontline attacking here and we're pretty much done. Um, right. Just a regular attack. Sword on plate isn't going to do much. Axe on plate is... Faith will never betray me. You know what? With the damage boost from Taunting Blow, that's going to be a kill. And then we've got one enemy turn to sit through, and then we'll work out our new plan. I've given Robert a little too much support there, so I'll have to let him take some damage and, you know, overrest the battle and heal other people. Yep, that's an owl and no counter at that range. Gilbert got a bit of a mix, left and right. Health, agility, strength, defense, and dexterity. Nice. Okay, that's some heavy damage. I'm gonna be using some consumables here and buying some more after this battle. Eden also leveled. Health, magic resistance, strength, and luck. He is getting magic, so I should be pushing his magic skills a bit more. Yeah, yeah, you go attack him. Uh, your sword on his levers is a good choice. And you now don't have that option. You get to go for a heavily armored man. Where the sword, which is good at chopping up people who don't have much armor on, is going to suffer. Also, you get a spear stab, which isn't massive, but hey. All right. Now, that was three turns in. This is our fourth out of 25. So in turns of storming the whole area and getting to both chests, we might need to push a bit if we're going to try and get both. Can we see... No, 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 it's no good. We need to see um, the, the ranges of people down here in terms of pulling. Yeah, if we come up... Right, so I think 
we can safely pick up both these chests. We just have to be careful how we do it. So, I can handle that. Purification would be great. We can just straight up spear stab, not a problem. The We've got an easy heart, kill the here. Sharper the blade. Sure thing. And someone who needs the healing. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um she can't get in range to shoot anyone apart from him. Want to yes, yeah, so actually. Coming right up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Right. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, so how do we do this in particular? Tomorrow's a new day! Could do it like this. Yeah, sure. So, what I'm trying to do is create space for someone with plate armor and a shield, right. who happens to be a girl, to run up through here, swap weapons, spear attack this chap. Ow. But hey, it's only six. Because that opens up a kill for Eden. Next, we're going to sidle across into the puddle, make some a bit wet, I know, get some health back, and get a kill. Nice, 11 heal. Then we got a lady with a bow over here who's eager to come rushing up and use it. Lovely. And a man who's going to run up to here and drink a healing potion. There we go. Unfortunately, there's little skill involved in doing that, but hey. Right now, Francisco. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. Can't come out here for the kill, but can go to there. As can Leon. It's up to me. Leon's got a bow. So let's kill him off. <laughs> and then ask who needs to be experienced the most here. Um, 17, 16, 17. Right. Let's get it done. I mean, I could swap to bow and shoot him. And then let someone else get the kill for shared experience. Um, and his archery skill is a measly two. I don't feel the need to push his archery skill though. <laughs> and lowering his health does set him up for extra damage later on. Right. Not everyone can be forgiven. We do have attack spells and we don't use them often enough. But let's hold off on that. Francisco the Bold has arrived! Um, which direction are we going? Uh, right. Arguably. Think deeply. I'll act do that. Quickly. Arguably that tower is a shorter distance, but it is nearer the center of the fight. Um, there are people up on top of this tower, so if we go up here and then work our way along towards here... Right. How are these covering? So yeah, we can get down here, clustered up, ready to rush up here very quickly. 
but likewise here. Okay. So this turn's mostly about repositioning, right? So this one, yeah, can rush out here and start shooting people. Um, we could get on the wall. I don't think we can get on a horse on the wall. So if he comes out here to fight us, we can go up this way as well as here. Whereas here, these archers are less mobile and they're more restricted in terms of where they can be. So. Is it possible? We could possibly... I don't know if this tower is linked, or if all three of these are linked, right? It's possible we could tackle both of these chests without drawing aggression of these guards at all. So we got two people we want to advance with. I will bring justice to this Let's land. go right here. And wait. And then Francisco isn't going to draw aggro at all and the damp is going to slow him down so which way do we want to be pushing i think you got it. this way in a way okay let's if i end up tackling both these groups i'll then know if i can push for this one as well but i i'm sure i'm going to get all three it's just a case of how and when smart, but i know how to right. hurt Hopefully my enemies won't do anything. And will just wait for me to come into a better position. Right. Eden, you're hurt. Potions are good. Um. There's more moving to get to this chest, whereas this one's like right up here. Right? And also there's nothing over here to threaten. These two archers out here are an additional layer on this side. Um, okay, let's look at it this way. Right, this is turn what? Five now? Five. Uh, so six, seven, maybe eight to clear all of these. And then, like, up to six. Uh, yeah, it's going to take longer, isn't it? I'm just thinking, is the time limit a good representation of what's on the battlefield and how long it will take me to deal with all of this? All these debuffers will slow me down, slow down my progress and make me take longer on the back here. I'm trying to work out if there's any sort of nasty surprise I should be anticipating. There's no mountain too high to climb. Uh, let's drink a potion. The medium recovery potions, I can't really justify their use just yet. Loud and clear. He can just wait. He's not damaged enough to drink. Right. Francisco. Fight smarter. Fight harder. This is... Yeah, this is a slow... A slow turn. Right. Right. So we'll just accept it for what it is. It's slow. Here it goes. Know what fools and drunks have in common? Okay, okay. They never learn. People who run their mouths die first. Understood. Simple enough. Right. Out of sight, but not out of mind. I'm staying out of the puzzle. Because while going into the puddle might save me a few squares movement here, it'll slow me down for a more turns and not be worth it right when your heart starts racing slow down and take a moment here's good enough i mean arguably i could just rush this tower probably not just on his own though i'd want someone to back him up probably two people how many people could back him up this turn not very many 
If your blood runs hot, so keep you go your to here, cool. climb up to there, be right next to the two archers, and say hello. Oh, do I get an action as well? I do. Wow, that's great. Actually getting warrior up here, pretty good idea. And they don't seem inclined to attack him. Do they have a, a two square range like they can't attack adjacent? I think they can attack adjacent, but why are they not pulling? Why is he just here, not even like in combat, just standing there in a passive pose? That's intriguing. Now. Can I continue? Should have been no, more let's, careful. let's not even find out. Let's just go up. Stairs. I can continue after climbing. Right. Interesting. So this is kind of a safe zone. No matter how careful you are, all Arguably. it takes is one mistake. Or I could climb the stairs and try and get one, two, three. Four, five, no, I couldn't get far. Right. Here we go. Coming right up. But hey, you know who could take the stairs? This girl. She can't take the stairs, so it costs a square to take the stairs. Interesting. You got it, Cap. We could rush up here. Pray sighted. So if I can't take those stairs, I can't take these. That's what they're banking on. They're banking on me not having enough movement points to rush up. Okay. Go ahead. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Oh, hello. Right. So. The stronger the heart, the sharper the blade. Stairs? Stairs. If I axe attack him, I might be able to clear this tower this turn, but I doubt it. Leon leveled, got health, magic resistance, and luck. Good stuff. So. If you say so. Swap to bow. Take him out. You. Yeah, you. Oh. Right. Swap again. Right. Yeah, there we go. So then, swap and shoot. Oh, we can't. Okay, good to know. Except we can. Let's roll. Um, where are we going again? There we go. So that's changed play around here quite significantly. Um, it does mean I'm going to have to be doing a lot more healing before I go near the wizards at the back. So Robin's leveled, gained health, magic, resistance, dexterity and luck. Resistance is good because of his uh, Templar affinity later on if we want to push towards that. Now. Plans are like booze. Only good till they run out. Acknowledged. One, two, three. So we're not... Hello. Part of the fight. A solid plan. What's for range on Holy Nova? Free. Not good enough. Okay. So if we Wait. take her to here, I believe is safe. There isn't right. That's uh. Actually, you know what? No, let's just go out here then. Uh, Robin's pulling now instead of Andrea, and that's good because she's got less health than he has at the moment. Right. Right. So once we do clear these, 
um, is there a particular preferred angle of attack back here? Um, axe, axe, I mean, this is pretty mirrored. The priest is on one square this side, she's one square that side, with the diagonal offset. Um, I think these do have slightly different spells. Dark Arrow Debilitation Abyssal Whisper Putrefy. Shadow Burst. Dark Grass Abyssal Whisper Shadow Focus. Um, magic Power. Enemy is mounted. Right, Abyssal Whisper, hold on. Yeah, that's bad. They want to scare our horses. They've all got Abyssal Whisper. Haven't they? Yes, they have. Okay, Putrefy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So, Shroud, Focus, Putrefy. Shroud, Focus, Putrefy, I think is the main difference. So, um... Do we just control this tower completely at this point? Let's pretend we do, and focus heavily on going in this direction. Sure thing. I'll see it through. Wait, Eden, can you go Faith further? You can. Great. Actually, let's try running you to here just in case you pull. It's unlikely. Not everyone can be forgiven. And Leonard has some more catching up to do. But that's good, because it keeps Understood. him safe and out of harm's way. Let's see what they'll do. I mean, I imagine I'm going to get shot with an arrow. Possibly just for one. Yep, that hurts a lot. He's also dead now, though. Wow, they literally just stood there. Well, then we know how this is going to go, don't we? Right, Francisco, you got a wall to charge along. Coming right up. Can do. Uh, can you? All right. No, right. Let's He's already up here. It makes sense. Obviously, these archers didn't like the counter-attack. We can get her here. Shoot him. Sure thing, Cap. They do get the extra range from up there, so it doesn't... No, it sure. does matter. So, if I killed... If I sh hit this one, then shot him, I'd kill him. No counter-attack, and I'd get shot by him. Here, I get the counter-attack as well. It's a shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. Eden, this is a great time to branch out and attract the attention of your enemies. Mind the bow. She doesn't have long shot at the moment, right? I will bring justice to this land. That's really bad, right? Oh, Lady Marshall. Do we want to get? Well, we've got that guy next turn. Pretty much whatever we do. So we don't really need to be focusing that way. Actually, if we go to you here... Say so. And... Drink. Then, on his next turn, he'll do nothing. Robert can go stab him with a spear. She can run up and shoot with an arrow, and he's done. Problem is... But Robert has a butt because we want to open that chest. And we want to spend as little time up there as possible. Bugger. I could just. Sh no, no long shot. They both have to be standing here. Okay. You we could this. shoot him this. from down here. But I imagine this would be a very unsafe place to be. So yeah, I think Robert's staying up there an extra turn and will be rejoining us shortly. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. 
they would like to focus. Light burns the brightest in the dark. Know what fools and drugs so if have in sit common? You here, they never not learn. getting shot. Excellent. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to um just wait. It was the bottom option. Hey, he's on the wall now. Unplanned, but I'll I'll take it. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. And the damage you're taking. Right. Pulling on these is way out here. Right, okay, so. You can do this. You can do this. Shit, you I was gonna drink a potion. That badly? You'll have to try harder than that. Okay, good. She does have more for us. Now, show them our little surprise. Stuff gets summoned. Oh, Caltrops. Oh no, Rob, Trapped. are you gonna take massive damage? What's the matter? Don't you like my gift? It's a crimson carpet, just for you. At least it will be, by the time I'm through. Damn it. Why do they always send us the crazy ones? You shouldn't need to answer that question. Right. Well, that Understood. changes a lot. Because I was going to... Uh, I was going to drink a potion, for starters. So, question is... They've probably got Caltrops here as well. So that's just going to mess with us. Uh... Increased movement costs and ongoing damage, so it's bad whatever we do. So our obvious question is, do these have stairs on the back? Obviously not these towers, but over here. And the answer is obviously no. Alright, alright, alright. So Pray sighted. I'll see it through. And let's do some healing here because it's absolutely needed now. Or is it? Yes, it is, because it won't put him on full. So we're going to have to work our way through there. If she only had... If she only had one load of Caltrops set up and it would automatically be wherever we went first, that would be one thing. But she's got to have both covered, right? But the other one wasn't revealed yet. You know what? All right. Okay, he's gonna. Ooh, yeah, that is that is really rough. Is there a way we can clear them? Or like a a very strong wind spell or something. Is there a duration? Don't think so. Right. That's just going to be really slow and painful. So we'll have to see if we can no find problem. a way around that. We probably can't. There is no mountain too high to climb. Stairs and here. Not enough to shoot you. up to me also no misclicked I meant to swap weapon and shoot damn it oh well the harder the fight the sweeter the victory out of sight but not out of mind there we go so Taking the Caltrops into account, I probably should have taken her short-range healing hand spell for the extra two uses. You got it, kid. Downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, near my lady's chamber. Let's see if we can find some more Caltrops. Huh. Should have been more careful.
There's three ways through, right? So they've got to all be trapped. Do I go open the Fish chest deeply. now? Act quickly. I think not. I think I. It's going to take long enough for other people to get through the caltrops anyway. But it is going to take him even longer to catch up then. Well, they are leveled. He gained health, magic, strength, and dexterity. So it'll improve the power of any spells he casts later on. But resistance hasn't gone up yet this level. Go ahead. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Oh shit! He survives. Okay, well, she's pretty solid. She'll just shoot him next turn. Robert will open the chest. That works out okay. Now, we've got a man to kill here, a chest to open here. Um, I don't think I need anyone else up on the wall. Actually, I probably do. Right. We don't want to be going through here. I will bring justice to this land. Oh, are we just completely incapable? So we can walk up to here. Huh. Here it goes. How about we get you out of here and back over to here? Because caltrops can ruin horses' hooves. Not everyone can be forgiven. There's no way she only trapped for one. That was predictable, but he's also sealed his own doom. He came too close to our dark page. Yeah, shoot him back. You won't even get to shoot him on your turn. Right. Coming right up. Hit him. Hit him hard. All right. And he hasn't gone too close to our Dark Mage because we sent him back down the stairs. <laughs> yep, that's perfectly fine. Francisco gained a level. He's gained health, strength, defense, and luck. And then we're going to have to work our way across the Caltrops. One way or another. Coming right up. What's in here? A rare sword. We will appreciate that after the battle. Speaking of appreciation no of chests, where's another one over here we should appreciate? Free medium recovery potions, something we will definitely appreciate after this battle. Now, loud and clear. You've got to be kidding. She only trapped one. That does not make sense. People who run their mouths die first. Maybe you should trap both the sides. Let's hold that for. A solid plan. We have warriors who Luck need to relocate. As you command. Plans are like booze. Only good till they run out. Whether words or swords, I miss nothing. Right. Is Francisco better off running for these stairs and going down? Well, she obviously is. Not sure about him. Um. I'm thinking in terms of buying time. Okay, let's see. No matter how careful you are, all it takes is one mistake. Let's roll! Um, where are we going again? Seriously? Okay then. Mind the bow. Get down those stairs, and in that case, just defend. Right. Francisco the Bold has arrived. Uh, yeah, he's definitely better off running this way then. It's a shame spilling blood on such as you command. Right, so we can't get Eden past here. As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. Um. 
So if we're being forced away from this area, let's ignore these two, because they'll come anyway, and focus on these sides. So really, wet, 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 four wets, in fact, more wet here. So we're glad we brought the lightning spells, so if we can get them to come up and stand in the puddles, that's really good for us. I can handle that. Down the stairs. Right, so what we want then. Understood. My lady, if you could stand there, that would be really appreciated. No sweat. Simple enough. Uh, let's get you over here. Let's get some warriors pushing the front of these two positions. Yeah, yeah. She may need to drink another potion soon. Right. Loud and clear. Tomorrow's a new day. That works quite well. Okay. Right. Out of sight. If she's like she's seriously only put caltrops in one place, that's pretty duff. Also, he needs that. Because we're going to need Marshall's healing in the not too distant future. We have two warriors too far away to play a significant part you in the battle it. this turn, so. And defend. Uh, likewise, she will just be running Can do. across here. So those two are definitely coming up the centre here because it's for shorter distances to go. Now, as long as Sarah's if I go safe, here, this whole world can rot. That's got to be pulling, right? And potion, potion. The stronger um, the heart, the sharper the That's got to pull as well. Only one though. So I could run up and drink a potion. Here goes. I'll see it through. Where's she going to be needed? I'm not sure. Who has good magic resistance? Uh twenty-two. Nineteen. Twenty-one. Twenty. So literally even is the worst. Faith will never right, betray. and if he goes all the way up here, that's going to be pulling, surely, yes. Here, pull one, sure. Nasty Wizard of a Nasty Spell, a long-range spell, so it's likely to be... Abyssal Whisper. And he's not mounted, so we can pull off one of those, that would be great. That is, pull the Abyssal Whisper off him so he won't be able to use it on anyone else. It's still going to hurt. Understood. So if we go to like just back here. Sure thing, Cap. Will that pull? Yes. But it is splitting. Problem is the problem is if I can pull this group on its own first without pulling her. Yeah, there's no way that's gonna happen, is it? Is there really? Cause she's got the crown, so we'd need to clear out all of the ones around her. Lady Marshall. Right. You will not be everyone needed. can be forgiven. You got it, Cap. So uh Whoa, no. Healing potion, yes. You got it, kid. Um. You know what? Yes. With his long range debuffs, he's probably slightly better off in the middle, but if we can shut down one of those wizards really quickly. On that. Because there's only one on that side. I'll take it. Just five damage, and we live. 
quite comfortably. And they do have a healer. All of that water means we want Leonard over there. Yeah, you come cast a spell. Abyssal Whisper. Yes, here we go. Ow. That's a lot of damage. And they are going to have to avoid their own trap. Okay, so she's being boosted with magic resistance. She's already got very high resistances for the crown icon. And now we're wanting to work our way through all these. Acknowledged. Right. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. Uh, we want Robert in the middle for his resistance. And that's a lot of oomph for him to be taking. So let's look over to the side here. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. If we shoot, right? That's a good shot. Oh, slightly better idea. So if we rush up Should here have been more careful. and axe attack. So far, so good. But Go obviously ahead. we're going to come up mouth. here. I'll put an arrow in it. Swap back. I thought she had her sword out already. And shoot the wizard. So that's a potential... He may be too far away from the priest to heal, but he's a potential distraction for the priest. Andrea's level to 17. We're nearing level 20 very quickly. And she's gained health, magic, resistance, and dexterity. So I don't like the tension that is growing between Ballastar and Marshall. We may need to find ourselves a second healer quickly. Now. The harder the fight, the sweeter the victory. One, two, three. I don't think. Yeah. You know what? Sure. We'll run him up here and we'll silence that wizard. So he will not be able to cast any spells on his turn. He might even run away towards his side's own healer. Or he might just stand there and not know what to do. Speaking of Here not knowing go. what to do, that's pretty good. So, what are we wanting to do over here? We're wanting to tackle at least one of these. We got frontliners we'll put in front of them. When your heart starts racing, slow down and take the a question moment. is that so much so many attacks coming his way he may just need to defend. It's up to me. Mm. I'm trying to avoid out having sight, my wizards come up here and mind. be focused down. Storm strike. Let's do it. It might have been nicer for someone else to take that counter, but we're going to be Here doing something like this. And then we'll be sticking Robert out there. If Robert defends, I imagine they will focus down even quickly. Right, we want to be getting up this way as fast as we can. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. So Karen and Francisco will be late to the fight. Question is I will bring justice to this do land. we look at this and say, you know what? I 
think we do. So he wasn't going to be able to counter, and it may give sure Robert the kill. Cap. It does, and is well worth it, I say. So there should only be four, five enemies now remaining. The beast is hiding at the back. He will be healing. That's great. This wizard is silenced, because I don't think that was a purification spell. This... Oh, yeah. That was a good resistance, a good guard roll. But also a good purification setup. I think I will be casting Bless on my next turn. Unless that caused no conditions. And you're just running... Oh dear. No, no purification, just a bloody great big heal. Okay. Someone no needs healing. She's got a medium recovery potion, so that's all good. Um, she is not even remotely close to being tackled. So... Right. Has this completely disabled his movement? Yes. Yes, it has. So let's capitalize on that, right? Because we can literally shoot him with an arrow. And if I can take this man down, Robert could move to there into the water bad and attack the dark wizard. So let's hold off on that. There is no mountain too high Look to at climb. all these people who can contribute to the fight with arrows. Excellent. Now, Francisco's still got some running to do before he can join him, but let's do some of that. Let's close some ground, get him closer. This man over here is not a threat even remotely. We'll get rid of him very quickly. Swap, sword, lots of damage. She can take it. Because she's finishing here and we'll send other people elsewhere. Know what fools and drunks have in common? They never learn. Straight up dark arrow. We're not going to do a lich arrow here. And now I'd like to know how far Robin's horse can take him. Let's roll. Um, where are we going again? And the answer is a pretty good distance. Not far enough to threaten this chap, but far enough to seriously threaten this one. So, Leon. Let's get it done. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Twenty-eight. Loud and clear. But perceived right. threat levels and speed and stuff, so. Let's swap down to 10, swap, oh, right, okay, so, ah, uh, so he literally would have to attack him with the axe, because if we go here, and shoot, yeah, okay, 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 if we go to here, when your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment, that may help a lot, right, Light burns the brightest in the dark. Let's get a bit of... Oh! Whether of course. words or swords, I miss nothing. Ah. I mean, that's just great. Especially given the distance. Oh, and he's in the wet. But they have no spells that punish that, except for maybe the priest. Ah.
So then we can send Leon no matter how careful you over are, here with a bow. All it takes is one mistake. Take the kill. <laughs> and we want to be gaining on that priest there. So, uh, I can handle that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. If we Let's had roll. a long oh. shot left, we which we blatantly don't, that would have been very nice. Okay, okay, she really doesn't like him. Because of the horse. Of course, of course. Right. A solid plan. Big heel coming through. And then if your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. I can use taunting blow for the extra damage to to still not kill. Why not? Okay, okay. Interesting that the the damage has gone down by two, but sure. It directs an attack back towards Robert, which I hope he'll be able to take. He should be able to take, because her ladyship is attacking someone else. Looks like Eden. But if I just ride up here on a horse... Right. She will suddenly hate the horse. And I don't think she can do 26, so I'm not going to waste a potion. <laughs> Lady Eris, you may be in for a bit of a surprise soon, and bloody hell, she didn't do 26, but she came really close. And Robert should counter this. Although he will be sorely wounded. And that should rob her of her crown defense. Even though she still has the icon. Right. Hey, look at this. I may not be smart, Actually, but I know how to hurt. there's one person who can only do one thing in this situation, so let's do it. Actually, let's do something really sensible. He's... Wait, wait, she will counter. I think he can take the counter as well. Let's go Taunting Blow. And check if she's immune first. Cold Heart. Oh, she can... High crits against enemies who are badly wounded. Intermediate Magician. Recorded spell count increases by two... Okay, so just learning more spells. Attack Magic Expert. Dark Elemental Offensively, yeah, okay. Doesn't apply to counterattacks, got it. Rare Dark Grimoire. I mean, she's she's just powered up for the dark, right? I'm just checking if she has any. Placid, no. Okay, okay, okay. Incoming damage is halved. Oh, that's just really nasty. Okay. Looks like she's not immune. Yeah! Next, I suspect, I suspect we'll want to find out if she's going down in one turn. Oh, look at that guard roll. That's beautiful. Nice to finally meet you face to face. Careful you don't get too close. Hasn't anyone told you? Roses have thorns! Yeah, she's prickly. We got it. Right. Right. I will bring justice to this oh, land. Oh, we could. We totally could. That's not very high at all. Right. So. No sweat. We don't want to do that unless we have to. 
and we might want to heal. You got a cap. Oh, that's not enough, is it? Right, okay. You can do this. You can do this. Obviously, that's good damage. Okay. As you command. She can't counter at that range anyway. So let's do it. I think the answer to the question is no. She will not be going down in one turn. Leonard leveled, got magic, resistance, dexterity, and luck. So we'll absolutely take that. The question I'll is, am through. I using my last heal? I'll need to stand closer, I think. The answer is no, because I've apparently already used it. Purification, though, on the other hand. Awesome. There is no mountain too high to climb. I'm doing this to make space for my shell to get closer and purify Robert. Okay, that was a, a hefty counter. Gotta respect that. Uh, Dahlia, off battle leveled, gained magic, strength, dexterity, and luck. So, understood. We have. Oh, really? Oh, that's rough. So you're gonna have to walk up there if you want to purify. Sure I thing, think Cap. we have just justified the use of a medium recovery potion. Although she is taunting. So we could just be buying time for it. Right, so. Plans are like booze. Only good till the Fine. Let's send him up closer. Because she can move faster and he'll have less to move now that he's there. Right. Should have been more careful. Swap. Now he is wounded, so frenzied blow is gonna hit for Enough, apparently, so we won't need to be healing after all. In which case... Not everyone can be forgiven. Less... Look, it's some healing, okay? Which means, actually... Marshall's hit 16th. She does need more catching up to do. Uh, health, magic, resistance, agility, and luck. People do get lots of luck. So, Act quickly. I think this may be severely earned. I did say I was thinking that we needed to think of the Templar class as a, you know, a hunter, a mage hunter, one who specializes in takedowns. So, yes. Let's do it. You're done. <laughs> Don't start celebrating yet. Your nightmare's just getting started. That's probably Enjoy actually this while true. It lasts. <sighs> we got the rare dark grimoire, and I believe the battle is probably over. I don't think she was presaging some kind of, uh, you know, second or third wave come rushing in there. So, we used 14 of our 25 turn limit. Uh, magic analysis. And flaming arrows. Oh, those are like class completions, right? Vigilant tread. Oh, I think I know what that is. Placed armor destroyer. Magic analysis there as well. Uh, got 600 gold, a rare sword, medium recovery potion times three. Rare Dark Grimoire. Let's go celebrate. And then I'll probably end the episode so we can get on the camp episode, because we know I like to enjoy my time doing those, don't we? <laughs> uh, where are we? 
Brents, Hesets, Kiotas, and Pomeld. Where is the... It's going to be across the river, isn't it? The other place where we wanted Have to Have we attack. located Eris? We are still searching her troops, but I think she's already slipped away. She escaped? <laughs> For someone so keen on bearing her fangs, she sure ran off with her tail between her legs. Or... It seems the real ploy. purpose was to stall for time. They must have had an escape plan from the start. Yup. Stop the search. Leave only the essential troops. Yeah, she'll the be rest long will gone. will pursue Kaspar. Those ballast are making a emergency. good call there. An emergency report has come in. Oh, he's back. What is it, lad? The soldiers in the castle are under attack. The villagers have begun to fight back. They're saying they don't want any rebel factions inside Hollisburg. Uh-huh. Our soldiers are following orders not to harm any civilians. So now the villagers are driving them out. What? Uh, are we sure they're not Imperial troops in disguise? Even if the Imperials instigated this, ordinary villagers wouldn't just risk their lives mm. for no reason. Come to think of it... I've heard rumors that Collins Crows had pillaged and plundered the city before our arrival. Oh, great. There might be a connection there somewhere. We should talk to them now, before this escalates. Oh, joy. We've captured some of the villagers that were harassing our soldiers. Bring them to me. Oh, no. Yes, sir. Don't let Ballastar question them. No. He'll just kill them. And why exactly were you attacking our soldiers? What reason do I need to attack a bunch of rebel scum? We are the Benarian army. We are here to free Artemisia from the Empire. You really think we don't know what you monsters are up to? I think there's been a misunderstanding here. We're not affiliated with Colin's rebels. We're here on behalf of the Benarian. Who cares? You're all the same. We are nothing like them. I'm certain you've heard of our reputation by now. That's the same damn thing the Crow said. Pretending mm. they cared about us while talking out of both sides of their mouths. Oh. Why the hell should we believe you're any different? Because our sole purpose is to tear down the Empire. That is all. My men have never looted any castle they have occupied, and they never will. Yeah, right. The people of Hollisburg know better than to trust your lies. Oh, we might as well put our faith in the Imperials. How many times must I explain? Imperials? Rebels? Who gives a damn? The people of Hollisburg will look out for ourselves! We're all of the same mind, including the ones in the castle. So take your soldiers and get out! No different than the Imperials, you say. I will not be compared to such filth. Oh, no. Hector, take a force and seize the castle. Kill all who resist. Well, now you're going to be no different mean? from the rebels. Commander Ballastar. Please, give me some time. I can convince them otherwise. It's a fruitless venture. If we slaughter innocent civilians, what kind of revolution are we? I'm begging you. I can fix this. Just please, give me a little time. Don't you see? That's exactly what Kaspar is counting on. Wasting time, wasting breath. Every moment we stand here, we're playing right into his hands. Do not lose sight of our objective. I'll stay behind. I can fix this situation with only a few soldiers. Just trust me. We have no time to waste, nor troops to squander. I'm begging you I've to I've got stop. about 12. How can people fighting for their home with shovels and plows be our enemy? That's enough. Know your place, Eden. You bastard! 
Just what do you think you're doing? I suggest you get out of my brother's way, or you won't be waking up tomorrow. <laughs> How perfect. Finally, we can finish what we started. Elias, sir, I know you must feel the same way. You can't be in favor of slaughtering innocent people. You've said your piece, Eden. Now you're verging on insubordination. The decision isn't mine to make, nor is it yours. How can you say that? I gave the order to kill all who resist my command. I suggest you don't include yourself. Kill all who resist. The power of those words echoed. And as those echoes subsided, soldiers of the Rebellion took up arms against the residents of Hollisburg. Their blood stained the stones. Their screams split the night. But most deafening of all was the silence. When it was over, the castle lay still and quiet. The only movement, the shambling footsteps of haunted soldiers. This event would come to be known as the Hullisburg Massacre. It would be Ballastar Fenice's defining command. Yep. One simple order intended to counter Caspar's stalling retreat. But the results were far too cruel. Within Ballastar's heart, something was taking shape and a new transformation had begun. This will not end well. In fact, this is going to turn pretty nasty. Were Eden and his company forced to carry out Ballastar's orders? Or were they able to act like conscientious objectors? Was it because it was only Hector and his men who were sent to kill, wasn't it? And to think we could have been gaining rapport with Hector Perhaps that would have helped us if we did, a little bit. We could have given him gifts a few chaps ago and right, whoa! Yeah, that's Ballastar's tent. This is not gonna be good. Well, we got three new prestige quests available. Lavana is in the in the camp, as is Dane, a temple volunteer, hopefully a healer, who won't get kicked out for being Marshall. New quests have been added. A man claiming to be a healer has arrived at camp, probably this Danish fellow. And Salma, the rare goods merchant, has arrived. Well, blimey, but that will have been a long enough um, episode. So, training. Dahlia's trained archery and leather armor skill. We'll have to pop her in another armor skill if she wants to continue training. Andrea, training for three consecutive sessions. Increased archery and that's plate, isn't it? Yeah. Gabriel has increased robes and elemental magic. Linus has increased axe and plate. Marcel has increased spear, shield and plate. <laughs> We have new codex entries, some of which I will probably read. Uh, so, Caspar, Fontaine, Shaw, Eris, uh -huh. all of those relevant. House, Vipont, we're thinking French, I'm going to say Vipont. Imperial Education, Agriculture. And we're back to Casper. Okay. Well, with that, I am going to end this episode here and take a mighty earned break. I hope you all enjoyed this one, lengthy though it certainly was. And I will look forward to seeing you all in the very next episode. I'm going to say goodbye for now, though, and cheerio, everyone. Let's all enjoy Lost Eidolons together, and hey, hope you're all enjoying it too.
Bye-bye for now.